And I am preaching a sermon tonight called, I Am in the Minority Too. In the, in the Bible, while the majority of the religious leaders stood up for a man-made religion, Jesus Christ stood up for holiness. While the majority wanted to serve their own needs, serve their own pockets, make their own money, do their own things, Jesus hung on a cross all by himself to cleanse the world. Any that would believe. While the majority was chanting his name and mocking him and saying, Hail, King of the Jews, Jesus was the only one holding his peace. And I say to you today that being in a minority is being as defined as opposing the majority. But it absolutely has nothing to do with your skin color, with your race, or your creed. Amen saying that by being in the minority in faith means standing up for what's right when other people will not do it. Standing against the majority or being cast out of the majority or being for something that the majority is against, okay? Being, a, being the minority has to do with having an ironclad belief in Christ Jesus because the majority does not. I don't care what they say. Being a minority is something that you can be pleased with. Because Jesus, as I just talked about, was and is in the minority. Is it possible that the word minority might also include such demographics as faith or holiness or maybe even the Bible that you read or maybe your church rules or your beliefs and it might even mean standing up for something that other folks won't stand up for. Amen. Decisions that are around all of those things have the potential to take you out of the mainstream of the faith or take you out of the majority of Christianity. And Now, if I were to come into, into anywhere into the mainstream and say that Jesus is one of the sons of God, then no one would have a problem with me because I'm not excluding anybody. But if I were to come into the mainstream and say that Jesus Christ is the begotten Son of God and that there is no other way into heaven besides Jesus Christ, then I would be labeled a minority and I would be pushed to the side of the mainstream Christianity and they'd say he's one of them conservatives and they'd cast me out. They'd say I was not tolerant and I had no tolerance and I wasn't inclusive of all the other religions. And Realize it's okay that you can be in the minority tonight. And I tell you, boy, I used to get nervous when I'd hear people preach like this not too long ago. Because I've seen people get up in the middle of service and walk out right through the back door. I've seen them get up with my own two eyes mad because we're preaching the truth to all of that stuff. And I understand the problems that it comes. And it used to make me real nervous, but I used to get real uncomfortable when folks started preaching against the different parts of the religion. But I'm here to tell you today that our none of them folks when I'm down to the mainstream going to be standing there when I'm in front of Christ and he's the only one between me and God and the only thing that matters is what line I'm going to be in. I've seen the damage and I tell the devil, do your worst and I'll do mine. Because he that is within me is greater than he that is in this world. And there ain't no devil that's ever going to hold me down if I know where I need to stand and what line I need to get inside of. Hallelujah. When I get to heaven, there's going to be two lines anyway. One line's going to be the majority, and unfortunately they're going to be heading for a long cliff. The other line, the short line, the minority line that abstained from sin, that understood that holiness was the way to heavenly, heavenly gain and the way to the Father, that's the line I'm going to be walking through. And